I think it's important for patients to realize that they do have a variety of options that depend upon this kind of genetic analysis of their tumor and uh, make sure that their oncologist is aware of this and that the uh, samples, their tumor is appropriately analyzed so that they could be eligible for some of these um, specific therapies. This kind of a larger biopsy is needed. Um, it's still the case that many times inadequate biopsies are done even in, in patients suspected of having lung cancer so that you have to go back in and do another biopsy. If we can analyze the molecular makeup of that uh, patient's tumor, uh, you know, hopefully we can make a, a more informed decision. Um, now most people or a lot of people are diagnosed just with what's called a fine needle aspirate or an FNA. That's when they put a tiny needle into the tumor and then they suck out some tumor cells. That used to be enough to make a di or that is enough to make a diagnosis. So what happens is um, w the tumor cells are sucked out in the needle, then put on a slide and then looked at under the microscope. All you need is a few cells that look like cancer cells to make a diagnosis. However, that may not be enough to do further mutation testing. Um, one of the ways around that is to get what's called a core needle biopsy. It's a little bit of a wider needle where they can get more tissue uh, and then potentially you can do more uh, tests with the, uh, the, uh, the tissue that comes out. Um, there's a slight risk maybe of increased uh, complications, um, but we think that it's worth uh, the benefits of getting more tissue out. There is a lot of work being done trying to get beyond that to identifying cancer cells that are in the blood. Uh, and we are doing, there are a lot of centers doing that kind of research, but for now that's limited. And what we still need is to get the actual tissue from a biopsy. But for sure, there are patients who have a small biopsy for, for whom there's not enough DNA to, to do genetic testing. And uh, what most centers have been doing, including ours, is to ask the patient then if they want to have a re-biopsy to get a piece of tissue that's sufficient to do the genetic material. If you're doing a biopsy with the knowledge you want to get enough for the genetic testing, well over 90% of the time you can. The difficulty is, at the moment, the genetic tests that we have for which there might be a treatment occur in about half of the patients. It's extremely important that you get enough of a sample to do at least a panel of 10 or 12 uh, genetic uh, abnormalities that have a possibility of directly guiding therapy. It's taking a, cult, a little bit of a cultural change uh, in different in hospitals to uh, recognize the importance of getting people's tissue sent out very quickly. Um, you know, patients can keep on top of that or their um, caregivers, uh, you know, and keep asking the doctor. Uh, they can even go to the pathology department themselves uh, and actually get the tissue themselves and then bring it over. You know, we don't want to burden people too much, um, but those are different options that are possible.